you, Mrs. F. I got your lunch. Or at least you, you remembered Sally's, but you left yours. <laughs> I thought you'd taken pity on my hangover and given me an extra small one. <laughs> there, I know what you mean. And on in the... A night of drinking and it puts me off me tucker too, you know. Yes, why don't you go and give Herb a hand, mate? Sure. See you, Mrs. F. Strong and black, I hope. I was going to bring a 44-gallon drum. Oh, no, that's great. Thanks. <laughs> Tom. Yeah? It's about Danny. Oh, yeah. How did he scrub up this morning? Bad head? Not exactly. Ah, he always could hold his booze better than me, that boy. Oh. Oh, that's bliss. You didn't bring any aspirin sandwiches with you, did you? Oh, that's just a thought. Oh, sorry, love. Did you want to say something? It was nothing. Oh, well, uh, I'd better get back to it. You're a lifesaver. I've called his bluff, but part of it isn't bluff. Oh, it's bound to be. Have you told Tom yet? Yeah? Somehow I just couldn't. Tom's friendship's about the only good thing in Danny's life. Somehow I... Danny laying that on me last night could really strain it. Oh, I still They're think... They're so close, should... those two. That's what makes it so hard. Maybe, but... but... I know I should do something. I don't think he's serious, but I can't be absolutely sure. I mean, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, why did I let it go so far in the first place? But I had to think things through and decide what's best for everyone. Except I don't know what is best. I still think... I mean, maybe I should contact the Veterans Association. They must have experience with people like Danny, mustn't they? Definitely. But if it's a false alarm, I'd just be wasting their time. Oh, look, honestly, Pepper, you should I still... Know. I should just let things simmer down, at least until Tom gets home. I'll just keep out of Danny's way until tonight. Thanks, you've been big help. Don't mention it. Since when were you two helping me? Since we heard you talking about it a minute ago, right, Sally? Right. Hi, Danny. Hi. Hi. Well, we're going to come no messing around for biology. I've got to collect as many different types of insects as I can from any one place. We can still help, can't we? You scare all the insects away. Why do you want to come anyway? We're just trying to be helpful. All right, but no mucking around. Keep it down, will you? It's like a beer garden around here. Here's your magazines. That's why I'm coming. Anything to get out of his way? Well, Alice said that there was something wrong with him. The good mood didn't last too long. Oh, surprise, surprise. Where are we going to get the insects Keep from? Down. Where are we going to get the insects from? I know a place where there's stacks of insects. Where? Stewart's Point, near the cliffs. Stewart's Point is pretty dangerous. A boy in our class said he nearly got blown over. <sighs> Splat. Well, that's because he went too near the edge. It's fine further back. Plenty of scrub and bushes just right for insects. Pippa said we shouldn't go up there. <sighs> well, you wouldn't be on your own. There'd be three of us. Four if I come. I could keep an eye on you. Mind you, you'd have to push me up the steep parts. I feel like a bit of an outing. You get bored being cooped up all the time. Makes you irritable, you know. Sorry for being grumpy then. How about it? Well, we haven't really made our minds up yet. Oh, I see. Forget it, eh? Well, I guess we could push him up. I was going to get out of his way. Must be pretty awful not being able to walk. We may as well. All right. But I'm not doing the pushing. Either am I, because I'm too little. Caught one! Oh, well, what is it? Show me. Grasshopper, look. Oh, Sal. Oh, I must have jumped out again. Yeah. Have a look down there. Look, there's a hole just over there. Get a stick, Lee. Uh, uh, Where's the net? I hear it. Might be a spider. They won't. Is that something there? No, that one. There.
about a cup of tea for the cleaning lady? Charlie, Lynn, Sal. Anybody home? Yeah. Oh, it's you, Martin. Who'd you expect? Oh, I thought you were one of the girls. No, I feel yeah. I mean, I just thought they were around, that's all. Around here? Mm. No, no, I saw him heading up to Stewart's Point on your way over. He's Frankie. Stewart's Point? Yeah, something about collecting bugs for school. I want to see him about the band, see? Sorry, who? Uh, Frank, you know, he, he lives here? No, he's not here. I've told them not to go up there on their own. They're not on their own. Yeah, uh, Danny's with them. You'll see him, right? No sweat. Danny? Yeah, wheelchair and all. Some guy, ain't he? What do you think you're doing? Collecting insects. We told you about it yesterday. I didn't say you were coming up here. Well, it's no big deal, is it? Yes, it is. It's not safe. I've warned you about it before. Well, Pippa, we're not kids. Sally is. Well, we're looking after and Danny's here with us. Yes, I can see that. I don't know why you're so uptight about it. I told you why. Now, come on home. But we haven't got enough in. Sally. It's OK, Sal. I'll get some tomorrow. Somewhere where it's nice and safe. What the hell do you think you'll do? Maybe this time you'll believe me. You came up here to scare me, didn't you? I came up here to do what you say I'm toothless to do. If I thought that, I'd push you over myself. In front of the kids. How dare you involve them in your sick little drama? Just thank your lucky stars I'm not going to tell Tom. You're definitely starting to believe me. Help me do it the easy way. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Come on, let's go. Don't touch it! If I want to kill myself, I damn well will. Understood? All right, then, go ahead. Do it. I won't stop you. Come on, I'll take you home. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone. All right, whatever you want. I knew you'd never do it. How's it going, love? Hi, you're late. Oh, I had to sort out a few things at work for tomorrow, you know. Everything okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, why shouldn't it be? I was just talking to the girls outside. They said that you were a bit upset. Oh, they did, did they? Hey, take it easy. Something about Stuart's point, apparently? They went up there without telling me. That's what happened. Well, they did say Danny was with them. So was Sally. Yeah, well, he would have kept an eye on her. Where is he? Still up there, as far as I know. He won't care. What, you left him up there? No, I offered to bring him back and he told me to get lost. You know what he's like. So you two started arguing again, eh? Could call it that. Can I ask what it was about? Usual brother and sister stuff. Yeah, which you promised to avoid. Don't start, Tom. It wasn't my fault. I left him to cool off. His idea. Best thing when he gets into one of his sulks. Mm, it's getting on, you know. So? Well, he'd be getting hungry, won't he? He knows where to come for his food. Come on, it's a fair hike, even if you're not in a wheelchair. Well, go and get him, then. Now, why don't you come with me, eh? The tea? Oh, the girls will fix it up. Come on, Pip. Bit of give and take, eh? It'll help ease the tension if you do. I suppose you're right. As usual. Oh, come on. Hey, yeah. This is where I left him, yes. Oh, he's not here now. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Further along the point. Well, we'd be able to see him, wouldn't we? We can't have got far. Perhaps he managed to get back by himself after all. Tom! What's the matter? 